I will. It stands for three things. I will give great effort in the classroom. I try to use myself as an example to these guys, and I don't like thinking back when I didn't give good effort, but I know I did. I, I can think back several times when I did, just gave average effort, maybe even sometimes poor effort in the classroom. It's hard to give your best every day. It's, it's difficult. And uh, we, we push our guys, and we want them to be reminded every day to give great effort in the classroom so that if they're capable of making an A, they need to make an A. This is a resume they're going to build. It'll be with them forever. It's going to be the resume, their transcript, their grades. Uh, football is going to help them, too, because they're going to look on there. They're going to see that extracurricular activity, football, on a championship caliber football team in college, the sacrifices that you make. Uh, when I was at Rice, one of the elite colleges in the, in the country. Um, we had a job fair, and I learned this through their job fair. The people that came to interview those people, those Rice graduates, they looked for a football player first. And a lot of that has to do, with, and, and it goes with everywhere, uh, people want team players. And uh, business want team players, businesses across the country. And then those who can get it done in the classroom as well, um, they're going to get a job. They're going to be able to, to move on from football. It's not going to last forever. I will promote a positive image. That's number two. Promoting a positive image is so important because football is the ultimate team sport. We also see that um, a mistake by one player can affect us all. Uh, maybe, maybe a big mistake, maybe just a little mistake, but everything is watched so importantly by everybody around. And especially since we're moving to Division II, more eyes will be on these guys, the Mississippi College football team, than ever before. But usually when it comes out in the paper, it's Mississippi College football player is in trouble or something like that. It also goes when we do something good, you know, when we may have community service and we get out there and help someone and serve the community and lead in the proper way. That's important too. But we want to make sure I will promote a positive image. I will prepare to win. And it, and it goes into a lot of things. When you're prepared to win, you have to eat right, sleep right. You have to do your homework on time. You know what? I've got guys that come to me before and said, I... Um, Coach, I was up till 3 o'clock last night doing my homework. I'm a little tired, but I was up busting my tail, working extremely hard in the classroom. Aren't you proud? I am proud. Why did you wait till the last minute to get that done so you stayed up all night till 3 in the morning? You know, you probably could have done this when the assignment was made in the first place. And that's the kind of things we want to push. We want to make sure that we're preparing to win academically, getting things done, getting our sleep, making sure that when we get on that field, we're able to be the best that we can be. If I allow a teammate to make a poor decision, I see it happening, that's not my job, is what he says. But you know what? A week later, it becomes a distraction because of the mistake that was happening. I could have stopped. I could have attempted to stop. That distraction causes us to get beat by an inch. That homework I waited to the last minute to do, yeah, I got it done, but I, I missed a lot of sleep. The next day I missed that check that the co coach was talking about. I didn't quite get the check. I was, I was uh, late to my meeting because of oversleeping, and we lost the game by an inch, by one inch. I wasn't quite at my best, and that's a tough sacrifice. Uh, it, it's extremely hard to be at our best, but that's what we're looking for. When I say I will in all three phases, um, it's difficult to live up to that. If I wanted to say it was, it was easy, we'd say I want to. And uh, we get t-shirts that say I will on the back. If I said I want to on the back, I'd have to buy one for everybody. Because everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to make straight A's. There's nobody that would say who wants to lose. and Nobody's going to raise their hand. Not a single person. So we're, we're looking for those special few, that, that select group that is willing to do what it takes, and that's what I will uh, represents.